All right, so we got the 20 hardest Elden Ring bosses. Go to video. This video is by Moto Plays. Uh oh, Melania. Now this was made like I think this was made Welcome like a year ago. Plays. And today we're returning to the lands between to take on the most challenging foes to emerge from Elden Ring. Alas, I am returned. Oh, what's up, man? Oh my, that's a big axe. Shout to uh Mojo Plays. Watch Mojo Plays. Let's get right into it, man. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Draconic Tree Sentinel. Do I remember this guy? Oh, I remember him. Oh, every I remember him. Remembers their opening moments in Elden Ring, walking out to discover Limgrave in all its splendor, being told their maiden lists, and exploring further pastures in search of adventure. Only I remember this guy. Ten seconds later, by the wandering tree sentinel. Yeah. Truly, this golden horse riding asshat was the first major <laughs> challenge of the game, and then they decided to keep bringing it back. <laughs> Why did he call him that? Being found near the capital of <laughs> Why did he call him that? Just as hard. But now its steed can burst out waves of flames <laughs> that can decimate your health if you aren't quick on your toes. Yeah, bro, listen, this boss was a menace. I will admit that. Astil, natural born of the void. Oh, wait, I remember. Ooh, look at this. Look at this right nasty point, boss. Nothing in Elden Ring should surprise us anymore, especially in terms of boss designs. But then along came this anomaly. This mosquito Astel looking. Give you the time to freak out over how unnatural it looks, since there's nothing more it loves to do than snipe you from across the arena. Bro, it's Teleport, sniping like his face. Exploding waves of cosmic energy. You'd think your best bet to avoid getting wasted would be to get in close and get to cleave. Yeah, no. And then you remember this thing has giant pincers protruding out of its face. Yeah. Get over here. Uh, drink the Kool Aid. Elmer of the Briar. Which one was this one? Do I remember this one? Nothing quite like that classic FromSoft setup of you being trapped in a tiny room with a giant armored behemoth who is way too quick <laughs> with the greatsword. If players venture deep enough while exploring the shaded castle, bro, he is quick. Having to quickly roll to get out of the way of Elmer's absurd reach. His shoulder bashes are hard enough to deal with, but then he starts levitating his swords all over the place to cut down the distance between you and a game over. Just hope you game don't over in one of their combos or its curtains. Uh oh. Nice, nice. Who was that? This is a whole dragon. Every dragon dotted around the lands between brings some level of challenge, even the lesser ones. Bro, brother, it's a dragon. It's supposed to bring uh, challenges. Two words: scarlet rot. This thing is pulsating with it, and if you get caught in that breath. You'd best hope that you have a cure on standby. Otherwise, this whole battle serves as a precursor with a certain goddess of rot. Uh -oh. He may not be as agile as other dragons, but the rate at which Exike spews out stuff really piles on the pressure to get in, attack, and get out fast. Bro, look at bro, look at his feet, bro. We got like the same fire feet. Fire giant. I remember the fire giant. Yeah, oh, I remember this. Yep, I do remember this. Wow, I haven't seen him in a long time. The spectacle as far as cinematic bosses go. The Outside for the first time. Taking him down is still no easy feat. The amount of damage and he got a face on his chest. Rolling around is quite staggering. So best be nimble and keep hacking away at his ankles. Phase two is where the giant turns up the heat. Uh -oh. Quite literally, literally. And it starts to unleash homing flames that will start detonating all across the snowy land. This, this man start popping out battle bombs. If you lose your cool for even a moment. Uh oh, move out the, oh my god, move out the way. Drink the Kool-Aid right now. That man is not playing. Grown falling star beast. Oh, I don't remember. Do I remember this? Wait. Wait, I do remember this. Wait, I do. I actually do remember him. Treacherous enough, there's this little problem to deal with. An absolute damage sponge, the falling star beast practically demands you use torrent in order to escape its charges. Wait, I actually Easier remember done, this. Especially when it goes full aggro and starts to increase the rate at which it lunges, not to mention casually sending you into the sky before bringing you down with its gravity manipulation. Oh, wow. It and Astel are clearly cut from the same cloth, except this thing's insistence on getting all up in your face makes it a much greater pain to deal like with. It's like a, a uh, overgrown termite. Valiant Gargoyle and Valiant Gargoyle. Gargoyle. Man, why the thing built like that? Exploring why is that thing no built like that? It's a nerve wracking experience, but then you get to the end to find this Colossus waiting for you. With wide the ability to infect you with poison damage, the Valiant Gargoyle can be a trying but wholly beatable trial, and then it calls for backup. 
The uh -oh. Twin Blade Gargoyle is much faster, uh -oh. and then the two get in sync and start lashing out. Uh -oh. The battle can become overwhelming. Keeping your distance and separating the two is the best yeah, way yeah, to kill one. Yeah, kill, you gotta kill one. To the deep root gotta kill one at a time. Yep, get him out. Yep, yep, keep getting. Yep, yep. Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy. Oh my god, this boss is scary. This is the snake boss. This is the snake boss. Hey, no, no, I can't lie to you, bro. This was like the scariest looking boss. I can't lie to you. This boss was scary. But what you find there is arguably a million times worse. The God Devouring Serpent, as its name suggests, is a big ass snake that will constantly lash out in an effort to swallow you whole. Yeah, the brass snake is not playing. It's actually Rykard, who turns out to be so much worse than his serpentine pet. Like, bro, where are you coming from? That will hunt you down and burn through bro, we got Ghost Rider just trying to kill us. That's crazy. Meaning that getting up close and personal is a dangerous gamble. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Why so many picked up the Serpent Hunter? Yep, yep, get him out. Black Blade Kindred. Well, I don't remember this. Wait, isn't this the boss that will like sometimes fall off the map? Makeover, but don't be fooled. This thing bites lonesome is far deadlier, mainly because it is utterly relentless. He got combo Fast, since when? Flashy and prone to unleashing torrents of crimson wind that will drain your health at a startling rate. Knowing when to dodge and when to delay is key to surviving its onslaught, though oh that's my. far easier said than done. In many ways, the kindred is an indicator of what to expect in the later fight. Oh no! Move out the way. As terrifying as that may sound. This man just did the spin a Yeah, get rid of him ASAP. Crucible Knight or Dovis and Crucible Knight. I don't remember. I don't remember these two. I don't remember these two at all. One of the most grueling two-on-one -on -one fights in the whole game. These two are more than happy to give you their full attention and attack in tandem. You uh -oh. not only have to uh -oh. worry about the reach of their swings, but also their faith-based abilities. Ordovis is especially lethal when it comes to this, unleashing holy blasts that consume a wide area, as well as growing wings and striking with blinding speed. As Bro has wings? Go, he thinks he's an angel. Right at the pinnacle. Yep, get him out, get him out. Okay, now nah, that move was nice. That move was hard. The Omen King. Do I remember Morgan? Pillagers. Let me see your face. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. There's no denying that as a first main boss of the game, Margit the Fell Omen was a tough cookie. Bro, but at the do end I of remember the day, this boss? He was just a stepping stone on the way to Stormvale Castle. I mean, no, 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 no. Wrong. Turns out this demigod isn't some lackey of Godric, but is actually the king of the That actually looks pretty cool. Wait a minute. Of slicing you up before you that weapon looks entry. cool. Not only does he retain his speed and sweeping attacks from his earlier encounter, but Morgoth's arsenal is substantially upgraded here. Trading in his cane for a sword that can do some serious damage, along with a plethora of grace-given weaponry, ranging from daggers to swords to... We all, listen, we all know number one. We all know number one. And this is based off, like, the first Elden Ring game. We all know, we all know number one. Let's be real. Let's be completely real. We all know number one. Godfrey, first Elden Lord. Godfrey was a menace. Warrior. Godfrey was a demon. Do you understand me? I remember Godfrey. My name as Godfrey. Bro. Uh oh, he the said the first. The tree is pretty messed up to say the least, especially when you have Godfrey as a rageful papa bear looking to tear off some tarnished heads. This man's as a the menace. First Elden Lord, Godfrey constantly demonstrates why he was worthy to serve as Queen Merica's consort, slicing across the field with his great axe and uprooting the earth with every stomp. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Move back! Move back! Move back! Move back! Knock him down to half health. And that's when the gloves come off. Uh -oh. Or should we say the spectrum? At least the beast. After trading in his weapon for good old fashioned fisticuffs, Horalu goes full on berserker, utilizing his anger and. He started going crazy like Broly. Like Watch out for the pile driver. The pile driver? I didn't see this move. Oh, WWE. Oh, on his neck. Star Scourge Radon. Uh oh. Is this uh, whenever Radon was like eating up, eating up uh, his horse or whatever? I remember the this. Fought Melania to a standstill. Yeah. The very stars in place mastered gravity magic so he could still ride his scrawny steed, and now you have to fight him. That steed was going out bad. A bunch of summonable NPCs does take the edge off the fight. Radon is still a beast. Yeah, bro. Of course. 
Yeah, bro, y'all should, bro. I hope they make an updated video to this for the uh, for the DLC. He's not crushing you with his great swords. He's bringing out comets to chase you all over the Wailing Dunes. You have to be in top form to face off against the Red Lion General, since it doesn't matter what your build is. Nobody walks away undamaged after Radan turns himself into a self-made meteor. Bro, that meteor scared so many people. It was crazy. Commander Nile. It's not so much this knight is a tank who can manipulate the elements and comes armed with a giant spear. It's that he's a tank who can manipulate the uh -oh. elements, comes armed with a giant spear, and has two spectral warriors acting as an entourage that take a fair amount of damage. Uh oh. Oh my, bro, that shield's that powerful? Wait, what? Yeah, get him out. What is he talking about? Even if you he really trying to propose a fight. Who do you think you are? Makes Nile you don't have a meter, buddy. If he's not conjuring up an ice storm, he's busting out a prosthetic limb shrouded in lightning to kick your tarnished face in. Listen, we all learned number one. Mog, Lord of Blood. Mog, do I remember Mog or no? Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. Because just one Omen brother obviously wasn't arduous enough. Bad enough that you have to trek through one of the most treacherous areas in the game in order to face this guy, all before this Empyrean stealing terror tears your tarnished a new grace site. Bro, who is it? I've never seen this guy before. I'm gonna just keep it honest with you. I've never While seen this guy before. His weapon, use of wings, he got wings. Unleashing wave upon wave of burning blood makes oh, all no. kinds of dangerous. He's got an ace up his sleeve that can mean certain death. My good y'all. I think I'm good. You'd better Sorry about that y'all. Those crimson tears when he starts chanting. Otherwise, you're going to end up rapidly hemorrhaging health. Sorry about that y'all. Light went out. But yeah, I, don't, I listen. I don't, I don't remember this guy at all. Dragon Lord Placidisex. The Dragon Lord. There are a lot of dragons dotted around the lands between, but all play second fiddle to this two-headed bringer of destruction. Wait, should you see his face? manage to navigate their way to its resting place, which features a nifty back <gasps> jump through time, they'll have to tangle with Placidus. I do! I remember this boss! I do! Oh my god, bro, I do remember this boss! I do remember this boss! I do! I promise I do! Lightning storms that leave barely any Brother, I do. It's been so long since I've seen like Eldering, like the like the first Eldering bosses, bro. Seriously, I have seen this boss before. look like a gecko. Why is he that fast, bro? This man is fighting on Jupiter, bro. The Black Blade. I don't think I've ever seen this person before. Listen, we all know who number one is. Let's just keep an honest with you. Soft wouldn't be above pulling a fast one on us. By himself, the beast clergyman is formidable, but wholly beatable once you get to grips with his erratic movements. At least he was until he decided to ditch the robes, don the armor, and pull out a blade that harbors the rune of death. From that point on, the fight goes from about a seven all the way to oh my god, he's so fast. Why is he? Yeah, no, 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 no. He is fast. He's fast for no reason. His attacks are slow though. Like he's physically fast, but like his attacks are very slow. And there are a lot of hits to dodge. Okay, never mind. Dog. Yo, drink the Kool-Aid now. Yep, get him out. Radagon of the Golden Order slash Elven Beast. Who's ah, this guy? As if the final boss in the Souls game would. Oh no, this guy's light work. I can't lie to you. Have enough time to get over the fact that General Radagon and Queen Merica are the same person before he goes full hammer time. Between the lightning bolts, teleportation, and godly swings, you'll be lucky to walk away from phase one. Oh, no. No, 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 no. See, now. The following scuffle. They're, listen, they're over-exaggerated. I'm getting rid of that guy in, in one try. Get ready.
ready for an onslaught of light rays, sword swings that consume the whole Wait, this swing, is second form? golden rings that you'll have to jump over, and worst of all, chasing after the damn thing as it swims to the other end of the arena. Sit still, you stupid cosmic vassal. Wait, 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 wait. That, that, this is his second form? Wait, 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 that was his second form? Godskin duo. Maybe I was wrong. Man, this thing built like Clayface from Batman. While challenging in their own right, the Godskin Apostle and Godskin Noble aren't exactly what you would call the pinnacle of difficulty. But stuff them both together in a tiny arena, they will become the bane of your existence. Uh-oh. Roly poly, roly poly. Between the apostle's ability to stretch and the noble turning itself into a rolling marshmallow, I mean, he built like Kevin Durant. Monstrous damage and easily corner you. Plus, even if you somehow wipe out both their health bars at the same time, they'll still come back for one last hurrah at the end. There is no shame busting. Oh, they're trying, they're trying to, <laughs> trying to get their leg back. Get him out! Get him out! Get him out! I can't lie to you. I'm getting rid of these guys in one try too. I can't lie to you. Blade of Mikola, goddess of rot. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. Guys, I've... guys, guys. The undisputed, my... uncontested queen of difficulty, and possibly the hardest boss in FromSoft history, Melania is a name that will etch itself into your psyche. Her speed, combined with the reach of her blade, is vicious. she's a demon. Made all the more she, she's a demon. She heals herself. She's a menace. She cuts up the player. Yep. She's a menace, bro. That little that little thing she does, and that, bro, whenever she gets and into a rhythm, bro. Climbing down to the millisecond, her waterfowl dance might as well be considered an insta death. Then there's her second phase, uh -oh. where she swaps out the sword for scarlet rot. Good luck trying to avoid a dive bomb that doubles as a whirlwind of poison that can easily consume an entire health bar should you venture too close. Bro. Bro. Check out these other She was bro. Plays. And be sure to subscribe and Here's what I'll say, Radon, bro. Radon, he's a menace, bro. bro. Melania, I can't lie to you, bro. The first time I went against Melania, bro, she was a pure demon, bro. Oh my bro, she got combos for days, combos for decades, bro. Yeah, um, but hopefully, watch most of the day. Actually, um, have like an updated video for the DLC because I would love for them to make a video for the DLC, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys did enjoy my reaction. See you guys later, face them out, and 